Good evening, everybody. In high school basketball, it's undefeated. Kirksville hosting Fulton. Kirksville in white. It's the Tigers in transition. Nicole Cook makes it look easy. The Tigers kept their foot on the gas. Audrey Wishman will finish underneath. Later on, Ashton Vorkink victimizes Fulton from the outside on defense. It's Mackenzie Russell with more pressure than a sinus headache. Crooksville would go on to win it big, 71 to 31. The Milan girls looked impressive against North Shelby. Milan and White controlled the boards. Bianca Caponetto gets the rebound and the basket. Elizabeth Lindberger would counter at the other end. Milan got it done without the ball. Hannah Sanders would score. Milan wins it 47 to 45. Staying with girls action, Fairfield was home to face Van Buren. It's Fairfield and White. Marissa Rep goes baseline for two Van Buren's. Caitlin Johnson would answer. Nice steal here by Rep, but Van Buren would win it 45 to 41. In other girls games, Oskaloosa outscored Knoxville. 58 to 38. Putnam County stopped Highland 43 41. Central Lee clobbered West Burlington 69 26. It was Kyoto 56. Tri County 17. Pekin lost to Highland Riverside 57 41. In boys action, Crooksville beat Fulton 60 to 42. Tyson Gugrich led the way with 16. Knox County beat Scotland County 63 43. The Eagles lead tag played against his old team. He had 20 points. Eight rebounds and six steals. Cardinal clobbered Harmony 59 to 24. It was Highland 73, Putnam County 40. In college basketball, Indian Hills took on Clinton in the first round of the High V Classic. Indian Hills in white. Princeton White is pure from the baseline. Not a lot of scoring from Clinton, but Charles Primberton gets two. Underneath, later on, it's the Warriors, Ronald Ross with the alley, and Jameel McKay with the oop. Indian Hills would go on to win it big, 121-63. to 63.